what to do though. No, it's been a minute since y'all heard from me. Scroll no, scroll no game. Fuck with me. Well, yeah, man. Cut all the goddamn small talk that get all, that get straight to it, bro. Just wanted to come out of that child today. You know, just run y'all into my brain. What be on my mind and shit sometimes, you feel me? First, let me say, me doing this is really out of my character. Because the way I was brought up is like, silence is the secret. All that talking shit ain't, you feel me? We do more showing than talking, you feel me? We do us. But I just had it on my heart just to get this out, though, to talk to y'all today, bro, you feel me? Just express some of my feelings and, you know, on what's going on out here in society and the world today. You feel me? What I want to speak on is, why this is a whole new world we living in. Where I was born in 85. I'm 39. Might as well say a nigga 40. But what I want to speak on is, Bro, these totally different times, bro. See, when I came up, when I, well, I'm gonna say, when I was a young kid or whatever, we came up in the church. I ain't go to church every every Sunday all the time through the, you know, I ain't go all the time, but I did come up in the church though. Back in my day, grandma, auntie, whoever, uncle, somebody sent your ass to church. Your ass going to church. That's how we came up. So we got God in us. I came up when God was still in school. When you still didn't get your ass whooped by the principals and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the era I came up in. Everything needs structure. Everything needs structure and discipline, bro. So with that saying... The children, well, I ain't going to say the children. I'm going to say the young folks now. I'm going to say from what? 2000 on, on up. They ain't got God in them like we got God in us. They ain't come up knowing about God. The 2000 babies and on up. They really don't know about God unless you taught them and took them to church and did everything and they know about God. But that's not their generation. God is not in them to even have a feeling of right or wrong. You know, to, to even have a feeling of caring. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't care. I ain't talking down. I'm just talking real. Feel me on this. We came up going to church. Discipline. You feel me? The older people can whoop your ass. We ain't go run and grab the scraps. See, it's a whole different level of shit out here now. You can't talk to no nigga, tell, no, tell these little niggas shit. But nigga pull the scrap on your ass quick. Because what? They took God and discipline out of school 20 years ago. So why you think the world is like this now? Ain't no God in nothing. God is the structure. God is the discipline of the mind. When you know in your heart you're doing something wrong, but God will come in and, hey, bro, chill out. On a lot of occasions. But now, there's no God in their life. They don't know God. See, you ain't got to go to church every day or go to church. Bruh, you could talk to God all through the day. I talk to God all through the day. I always been talking to God since a little boy. To get an understanding of life, of everything. So that's what's going on today. 
ain't no God in these people, man. God is so far off the map from everything to what's going on, though. Y'all see everything that's going on, bro. Yeah, they, they'll make the shit that's wrong as fuck. Right. Y'all know why I ain't lying. Back in them days, the shit that was wrong as fuck was wrong as fuck. But today is right. I ain't talking down. I ain't judging because I'm not the judge. God's the judge. I ain't, I ain't no respect. We came up with respect. We respect it. These folks don't respect. I ain't no respect to even consider, oh, my bad, or uh, my bad, I'm sorry. Well, you feel everything just rah, rah. You feel me? Ah, uh, motherfucking. What it is, what the word I'm looking for? Every man for himself, every gor gorilla for himself, bro. You feel me? Nigga don't give a damn no more about nothing, boy. Everybody out to handle self. But it shouldn't be like that, bro. It shouldn't be to the fact that uh, when I got a kid, that nigga, I got to take his shit. Nigga, you that broke, you that fucked up. Nigga, go get your job, nigga. Nigga, you can go get a job, nigga, female, whoever. Get your job. Your hustle shit ain't right. You feel like you got to take a nigga shit, kill somebody, and all that crazy shit, bro. Get your job and shit, bro. Well, a person with the mind frame like that, they ain't got God in them. Because how can you live in your head and your mind knowing this what you do to eat? See, I be trying to speak on him without going too far. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I still got to live my life. I still got to be me. You know what I'm saying? But, bro, I was always hustler first before anything. Hustle before a taker. Hustle don't mean selling no drugs now. Hustle mm -hmm. mean... Cut the grass, mm -hmm. wash a car, work a job, get the cat out the tree. What, whatever you doing to get that money, well, you you hustle to get your money, bro. You about your money. But nowadays, a nigga ain't, bro. A nigga trying to take your shit. A nigga, let you get all get get it up and come take your shit, bro. And it's fucked up out here like that, bro. I ain't no organizational structure, bro. You can't tell you can't tell a little nigga to do shit, bro. Some of these little niggas will listen to you, though. You know what I'm saying? But then it got so deep and got so far out of our range with the beef that it went back and forth to where, bro, this shit, it ain't going to never stop, bro. This shit finna get worse and worse, bro. Because for one, ain't no God in these folks. You can't tell a nigga shit that ain't got God in him, bro. Now, I'm the type of person, bro, I'm double-minded. What I mean by that, I got that good wolf over here, and I got that bad wolf over there. Some folks just got the good wolf. Some folks just got the straight bad wolf, all in them. Bro, I got both of them, and it's like I know right from wrong. So I try to feed the good wolf more than I feed that bad wolf. Cause ain't nobody perfect. It's what wolf you feed, bro. So in my mind, I had to keep the balance of good and bad. You know, for my environment, how it came up, you know, it be so much bad wolf stuff that I know I can go do, go do, you know what I'm saying? And righteous, you know, I, I, I do all right, you know? Straight, you feel me? How paid for? You feel me? No car note, straight. But I ain't just content like you feel me. Oh, I don't, I don't want to get no more money or go to another level. I always want to go to another level. That, that's my that's my problem. You know, I can't be content with what I got. It. I always want to go up. 
But, uh... Where I was at with this shit? Well, yeah, man, just speaking on how we in different times, bro. You feel me? Like, you know, folks, it's overcrowded. They done let all these people from overseas and shit over here. What the fuck going on? This shit congested, bro. I ain't on no racist shit. But I'm seeing these motherfucking Guatemala, whoever the fuck, they every fucking well. I don't fucking get it, bro. But they each his own, though. I kind of feel... I kind of can feel now how the white folk you to feel when they, you know, how they show the move when the niggas riding through their hood and shit through their neighborhood. They like, God damn, I'm tired of seeing all these niggas. You know what I'm saying? We over here. You feel me? I kind of can feel them with these goddamn immigrant people I be seeing and shit. Because I'm like, what the fuck going on, bro? Then they can't drive worse shit. I done seen the motherfucker. See, I'm so cautious because I... Bro, it's crazy out here in the city tonight, in Birmingham. These motherfuckers driving like they in Atlanta, bro. Bro, when you to ride and drive a motherfucking car like that, bro? Just on no regular, just on on some regular shit doing the, now the weekend or whatever the fuck. Yeah, we might get crunk, ride the fuck out them hoes, drive the fans and shit. But nigga, on a regular fucking day, niggas ride, you know what I'm saying? Niggas driving these bitches like crash damage, bro. And it'll make a sane nigga like me fucking lose my sane because I be on some, you know, being generous. You know what I'm saying? You know, just nigga a little older, bro. I ain't on no crash dummy shit. But some of y'all motherfuckers will make a nigga crash the fuck out, bro. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, we living in some different times, bro. You feel me? I ain't no love, bro. We gonna love each other. We hate each other. We hate each other, bro. We really fucking hate each other. Can't nobody tell nobody shit. Can't nobody tell nobody church and shit. You feel me? Like, we ain't come up like that, bro. It's on us. Like, I was thinking the other day. I was like, damn. My daughter, 16, bro. And to be honest, bro, I ain't raised her in the church, bro. I ain't even take it to get baptized, bro. That's just how I'm so in tune. I well, that's so how I haven't been in tune with what I should have should have been doing, like our parents were doing, like when they was young. You know, I got baptized eight, nine or something. You know what I'm saying? Cause. Our parents was in the church and made sure, you know, you were baptized and stuff like that. A lot of these children ain't baptized, bro. It ain't in their soul. They ain't had no holy water on them, bro. I done been baptized. I done, uh, you know, when the do doors of the church open, bro, I done went up there a couple times to, to clean my soul, bro. But I noticed that us, my age, and like I said, I'm 39. My daughter's 16. I ain't speaking for everybody. If you did, if you got your child, you know, in church, they been in church, they came up in church, great. You, you was on it. But when I think about it, like, damn, I ain't seen her to church or sent, you know what I'm saying? She been to church and stuff, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't take it to be like, what? Well, damn, let me go and get her baptized, bro. I'm not, she ain't baptized. Well, I'm going to get her baptized, though. She got to she gotta get baptized. Hold on, man. They keep calling. I, I got to take the call. Hold on.